On the flip side, uh, Northwestern State has four and three of those they've converted into points and South would like to be able to get some takeaways tonight. The Honstein punt will be fielded by Pritchett at the 39 yard line makes a move up to the 45 Jamal Pritchett has plenty of speed and he's got some room down the sideline Jamal Pritchett no flags anywhere and he is gone. Jamal Pritchett first time he touches the ball he's electric and 61 yards later he takes it to the house, South Alabama. Early lead on Northwestern State. They're up 7 0. Myrick, who gets the honor this week. Third down and 11. They are under pressure, right side. That one is picked off. Boyson took it away from Kit Denton. Goes down to the 40 yard line, and South Alabama in business again. As you'll see it right here on the, the replay as Kit Denton's coming across the middle, pressure by the defensive line. But Voison just goes up and takes that one away. And again, South Alabama loving seeing the first two games. So that's Jaden Voison. His brother Devin Voison is a receiver. And he is not the target here. Instead, it is Jeremiah Webb. One play, one touchdown for the offense. Webb beat the defensive backs and South Alabama with another touchdown quickly here in the first quarter. Actually caught it right at the goal line as he's going into the end zone. But Gio Lopez just, that's a beautiful throw right there as your receiver gets this behind the defenders. Injured player. Webb caught. Fayard back to pass. Under some pressure again, has Hines, first down and more. Hines, 35-30. Hines finally run out of bounds by Ladarius Webb. That's a big chunk play. Try to get the Demons on the board here in the first quarter. Good snap, good hold, kick is on the way, and it is good. So a good answer for Northwestern State. Tablets and watch plays right over. It's, a, it's crazy how much it's changed in the last few years. Great protection for Lopez. He'll hit Voison, makes a move at the 12-yard line, stopped at the 10 as Devin Voison, his brother Jaden, all split out as Ivory now in motion to the far side. And it'll be a little pass to DJ Thomas Jones looking for the pylon. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Jags. DJ Thomas Jones. And then they sneak DJ out into the flats. He's able to get the ball. And then he, the rest he just does on his own. He ducks his head and he's able to get that. He does it so well, riding it out, keeping that linebacking core honest. Throws near side to Bullock. Makes a man miss at the 35 yard line. Bullock, 25 20, down to the 15 yard line. Kentrell Bullock with the emphatic first down. But he, he, he did look comfortable as he tucked that ball and ran. The margin is four for four on field goal attempts. Now make it five for five as he puts it right down the middle. So what will likely be the last play of the first quarter. And how about a chuck play? This could be a touchdown for Northwestern State. Kit Denton, nobody's going to touch him. Touchdown, Demons. I'm not sure if they thought they had over the top help right there. A lay down right here. Well, the Jags controlled most of the first quarter, but a statement at the end. 75 yard touchdown. It's 24 10. Jags get the ball back for the second quarter after this. Northwestern State with 165. Bothwell, right side, has a hole. Bothwell across the 50, across the 45, one man to beat. He'll be run out of bounds inside the 20 yard line. 25, and he's got a big smile on his face for a reason. You know, it's almost like people who pick the impact players kind of <laughs> knew. What, I mean, back to back plays right there, you, you know, but Bothwell. That is the call, and Bullock dances into the end zone. No dispute there. Touchdown, South Alabama. They did him so quick, you don't have time to load the fireworks back up. <laughs> Again, but another nice job by the middle portion of that offensive line is you see the push into the end zone here running back. You love it when you're letting him run free a few times with 23 tackles in one game. That's a, that's a great stat line. He was a solid player at Lamar before coming to Northwestern State. Now wide open receiver Jeremiah Webb makes a move at the 15 Webb. 
barreling his way toward the 10 yard line, still going, gets inside the 10 to the eight yard line. And then to see him at this level, it's been really fun. Bothwell, right side, touchdown, South Alabama. There are many flags, so we'll see if it stands. We'll see, yeah, up into the lineman. And that allows Bothwell to get into the end zone. And so 15 yards deep from the ball right now. Got to get to the 35 yard line and the pass is picked off. Fortenberry to the 10, to the five. A Marion Fortenberry with the interception still going. They blow the whistle at about the two yard line. So first and goal at the four yard line. Man in motion is Voison. A little pitch to DJ Thomas Jones and DJ Thomas Jones into the end zone for the second time tonight. Touchdown South Alabama. Sarah Land, just a great play design. They fake that like he's going away. And they just toss it right back to the middle. And there you see that big offensive line. He settled at his own 35 yard line. A shoestring away from taking that second one back last last punt. Flags are down. This one is returnable. Catches it at the 34, makes a man miss. He may have a wall if he can break this tackle. Across the 45, across the 50. Bridget run out of bounds at about the 31-yard line. And it again, he's right side of the field, goes the entire way across the way. Good job by the Jags twice to avoid a block in the back. And then Pritchett just does it himself. Good speed coming from behind him. And to kind of see how that all evolves as we, as we get through. Sangren in motion, they'll go right side. Bothwell makes a move. Bothwell has got some room. Fluff, Bothwell, one man to beat. He'll be pushed out of bounds at the five yard line. I know that stung on McGee, hoping that young man's okay as he came up to try to force him out of bounds. It'll be the direct snap to Bothwell. Nobody touches him. Touchdown, South Alabama. There, as you watch, as he just fakes the offensive line peels around and it's so wide open that the offensive guard who peeled around do back there and he's taking advantage of it tonight. They'll give it to Bullock this time makes a man miss comes back the other way. Kentrell Bullock one man to beat Kentrell Bullock touchdown Jags. <laughs> to the right side, cuts back to the left, and one man to beat, and he went close. Jags on top, 59 to 10, early third quarter. Third down and 14 in Northwestern State Territory. They'll flip it outside. Braylon McReynolds in the clear. McReynolds breaking more tackles inside the 20 to the 15 yard line. Lopez to throw across the middle, has a man wide open, Jamal Pritchett, touchdown South Alabama. And with the extra point coming. It's always a bad sign too, when you watch the defense, if you watch the end of this play, you got defensive backs that just start turning and looking at each other kind of. And so he will get a chance to run the offense, presumably the rest of the way. P.J. Martin, right side, one man to beat. Martin pushed out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. Martin has been the workout, the uh, workhorse on this drive. He'll get the call again and he will get into the end zone. PJ Martin, touchdown Jags. A premature one that got called back and we may have lost a, a firework, you know, that earlier. On a Hawkins throws left side tipped, intercepted. This could be a pick six, and it is. Cristal Coldwell. The field is the pass was better. Intercepted by the defense for a touchdown. Takes the tip pass. You just see it come out right there, get a hand on it. Caldwell from Elba, Alabama. Hawkins under center. Ball is on the turf. It's still down. I think South has it. Mad scramble for it. And I think you're right. South Alabama recovers the fumble. Rolling on the field is that the quarterback did not control the snap. It was recovered by the defense. It's first down. Offensively for South Alabama. 
Be Durr, right side. Jarvis Durr, touchdown, South Alabama. Situations where the Jags have not been putting it in the air in the fourth quarter. They've just been running right at them. And Northwestern State has no answer. Yeah, if you're watching there. Don't forget to subscribe.